Hello guys and gals, and welcome uh, to another episode of uh, Skills and Abilities. Today we're going to be going over another one of the Fire Sorceress spells, and that is the Fireball spell. Uh, the Fireball spell is definitely the superior of the two between Firebolt and Fireball, and um, it has a really nice radius effect, but it's actually one of the abilities that's still to this day has a kind of like an incorrect tooltip. And uh, let me go to... Amazon Basin real quick, because Amazon Basin covers this, I'm pretty sure. Um, but, uh, doo -doo -doo, where is it? Uh, it says radius 2 and 2 third yards, but it's actually this, which is a lot bigger than 2 and 2 third yards. It's actually the equivalent of, like, f I think it's like 4.3 yards, it's been a little while since I've actually, um, like, looked this up. But the radius of Fireball is actually pretty large around the monster. Um, it's going to hit a large number of targets within that radius. And um, when you're utilizing the ability, you'll kind of get the feeling that it's larger than 2.6 yards, which is what's actually reported here. And uh, let me see if I can find the actual number, because it's been a little while since I've looked it up. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, here it is. Explosion radius. The damage radius of 4 yards is actually written in the missile code. So instead of it being 2.6 yards, which is what's reported here, it's actually a 4 yard radius on the explosion, not a 2.6 yard radius. And I think it might have to do with the fact that it's kind of like 2.6 yards from the monster in each direction, which equals out to, I guess, 4 yards instead, which is definitely a lot bigger than 2.6 yards. 2.6 yards makes it seem like it's it's a tiny little explosion that doesn't even really go very far. But if you look at the actual, like, way that the explosion looks on the screen, you can clearly see that it explodes at a much larger size than 2.6 yards. Um, and this is important because the damage of the ability, which is actually pretty nice once you get it maxed out, is around like 20,000 damage of fireball, which is pretty significant. Um, and when you're in a group of monsters, or a rather large group of monsters, you can utilize this explosion to dish out large amounts of damage to all the targets within that radius. And so when you're casting it and you're dishing out massive amounts of damage to huge numbers of targets, you really get the feeling that it is an extremely powerful ability. Because, you know, coming, if you're doing like cows or any area where there's a large number of monsters, you're talking about multiplying out that damage pretty significantly. So 20,000 damage and then you shoot a fireball into a group of monsters, it's about a four yard radius, so maybe it hits, say, 10 monsters within that four yard radius. You're talking about 200,000 damage in one spell cast. And it gets kind of insane. And of course, you can increase the speed at which you cast these ridiculous projectiles, um, and you can dish out more damage that way. But it's also important to note that despite the fact that it does very significant damage to large groups, it's only going to do 20,000 single target. Like, you don't get an additional hit, it's just an explosion that does 20,000 damage, and that's that's it. So if you're fighting, say, Diablo or Bale or Uber Mephisto or something, um, you're not going to get any additional damage on that boss. It's just going to be 20,000 per cast. Another thing that we got to talk about with Fireball is the increasing mana cost of the ability. So when you level it up, what you're going to notice is it starts out at a relatively low mana cost of 5, and it actually goes up, I think it's half a mana point per level, every level um, to infinity. So, like, for instance, when I throw one point into it, now it's at level 19, which has 14 mana cost, and it goes up to 14, 5, 15, 15, 5, 16, 16, 5, 17, and it continues to rise basically to infinity and beyond. However high you can get the ability, it's just going to keep going up 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 forever. Um, it's never going to stop. Um, now, this does mean that it has some pretty significant mana costs early on, especially if you throw 20 points into it. And um, there is a skill that allows you to bypass this, though. So, first off, Fireball costing lots of mana is a big deal, but Firebolt, which is something that you're going to build with Fireball anyway, 
has relatively no mana cost. It costs 2.5, and it continues to cost 2.5 all the way up to its maximum level. So when you level up an early level Sorceress, what you're probably going to do is max out Firebolt first, and then you're going to max out Fireball, and then eventually you're going to max out Fire Mastery. Um, and one day you'll max out Meteor, which is the last synergy of the bunch. Uh, but once you get this combination set up, you'll notice that the damage output from Fireball and the damage output from Firebolt are actually pretty darn close together. Um, they're actually about the same damage output. Um, but the big difference between them is that mana cost. And, uh, and that's really the big thing when it comes to this ability. Now, Fireball itself is best paired with other abilities that dish out damage too. A lot of people will utilize Fireball with things like a Frozen Orb Sorceress. Um, they'll utilize Fireball with like maybe like a Nova Fireball Sorceress. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can utilize Fireball in various builds. And, um, and it is a synergy for other things as well. It's a synergy for Meteor, um, and it is also a synergy for Hydras, depending on which way you end up going with this kind of skill. Um, overall, though, Fireball is definitely one of the more powerful abilities in the Fire Tree uh, because it allows you to just dish out pretty massive amounts of damage in a very small zone. I mean, as you can clearly see, I'm in Hell Difficulty right now, and if I have a large group of monsters that's all nice and neatly packed together for me, it does really well. However, I would like to talk about something else, which is kind of a very silly thing. I call it Roundabout Fireball. As amazing as Fireball is, there is another way to cast Fireball, which in my opinion is actually the superior way to cast Fireball, and that's to not cast Fireball at all. And you might be asking, what the hell am I talking about? Well, it has to do with the Demon Machine Crossbow. Uh, the Demon Machine Crossbow is a crossbow that allows you to fire explosive bolts or arrows. Um, and if you set up the character properly, you can end up with some absolutely insane damage output while you are firing a crossbow and doing pretty much the same thing that you were doing with fireballs, except now you can pierce. So as amazing as it is to be able to dish out 20,000 damage in a single shot um, you know, from a spell, it still only does 20,000 damage in a radius around the monster. However, if you build an enchant sorceress, you can basically do what's called roundabout firewall, and Roundabout Firewall allows you to dish out the same amount of damage, but now you can dish it out multiple times in the same shot, which is kind of insane. Um, and to give you an example of this, I've got my Demon Machine crossbow handy, and we're going to go ahead and throw that on my little girl here. I need to uh, put my strength points in, and I need some of Dexteritol. Now, in this particular case, basically what you're going to do is you're going to cast Enchant on yourself instead. Um, and you're still going to be utilizing Fire Mastery. Um, you're going to switch to a pre-buff. You cast Enchant on yourself. Um, and then you swap back to your bow. And you notice that I'm still doing 20,000 damage, which is the same amount of damage that Fireball is doing. And when you fire your bow, you're going to get a nice little neat explosion. So when I hit a wall or something like that, you see I have pretty much the same exact explosion that Fireball does. And the really important thing about this particular build is that the effect pierces. So not only do we get one explosion, but now we're getting multiple explosions that can all hit many, many times past that target. Anywhere up to six explosions can happen with this particular build. And then you end up with freaking roundabout firewall, which is hilarious. I call it roundabout fireball because it functions exactly like fireball does, except it does even more damage than fireball because now you can dish out 20,000 on the hit, 20,000 in the explosion, and then you can pierce up to five more times, dishing out another 20k, 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 which is absolutely insane damage numbers. Um, in my personal opinion, the enchant bow sork actually completely passes the fireball sorceresses in damage output. Now, versus a single target, they're going to be the same. So whenever you're firing at a single monster 
fireball and your enchant sorceress are basically going to be the same damage output. But whenever you're firing at a group of monsters, the enchant sorceress is pretty much always going to beat fireball at just about every way possible and it's kind of dumb insane because the amount of damage that you can output with a fireball sorceress while it is really cool um and we could even run these numbers real quick just for fun in the video so let's say for instance i had that really beautiful 20k you know let's even bump it up to let's bump it up to twenty five thousand just to give fireball a, a fighting chance and let's say i fired that at a group of cows and I, there was 10 cows in the group or, you know what, let's even say 20 cows. Let's say I managed to group the cows together real nice and tight, and I hit 20 cows with my 25k fireball. So we've got times 20, which is a damage output of about 500,000 damage a shot, right? Now we'll take the bow, the roundabout fireball sorceress. So the roundabout fireball sorceress is doing 20,000 a shot, and we're going to take that 20,000, and we're going to say that she shot at a big old group of cows, say, you know, like, I don't know, like a hundred cows thick. And each explosion hits 20 cows apiece. So we're going to do the same 20 cows that we did for the fireball, right? But this is a pack of 100 cows, and we can pierce up to six times. So we've got 20,000 times six, which is 120,000 damage of the on-hit damage, right? Then we also have to add in the 20,000... times six, sorry, not times six, uh, times 20, because it hits 20 monsters, um, and then we multiply that by six, um, and we get 2.4 million damage, and then we add in, of course, the 400,000 that we had from on hits, so we're going to add the 2.4 million to 400,000, which gives us a total of about 2.8 million damage in one shot. And you start to realize why roundabout fireball makes regular fireball look stupid by comparison. Especially considering that number one, roundabout fireball costs no mana. Number two, roundabout fireball literally comes from a bow instead of an actual casted ability. So you don't even have to worry about anything in terms of like like resources with the exception of bolts which you can find on the ground. Um, number three, uh, you can hit multiple targets. You dish out massive amounts more damage. And on top of that, you also get maximum warmth out of it for less points, mind you. So to max out Enchant, you only need 20, 40, 60. To max out Fireball, you need 20, 40, 60, 80. So it is actually less points than Fireball. <laughs> it does more damage than Fireball. It costs less mana than Fireball. And overall, the Fireball Sorceress is actually made to look kind of like a joke by comparison to the Enchant Sorceress, which is ridiculously insane, in my opinion, um, because you can just dish out so much damage with the Enchant Sorceress for so little points, by the way. A 60-point investment is next to nothing by comparison to an 80-point investment. A 60-point investment literally leaves you 46 points that you can go spend elsewhere and do something else with and have some fun, like maxing out static field or building an energy shield sorceress. Um, and the fact that warmth is one of those, and the fact that you have no mana cost, means that you can literally have an infinite amount of mana, mana to do with whatever else you want to do. Um, I know this was a video about Fireball, but there's really not a lot to say about Fireball. It's a spell, you cast it, it explodes, it does a pretty decent amount of damage, and it's the best of the Firebolt and Fireball tree. You can combine it very easily with other spells, and if you wanted to do a Fireball Meteor Sorceress, that's a pretty cool thing too. Um, now, Meteor is definitely a, a very interesting one, but it does require the monsters to stay still, which is a little difficult sometimes. Um, overall, I definitely think that Fireball is worth using if you want to build a Fireball Sorceress, I mean, by all means. Um, one advantage that Fireball does have over the Enchant Sorceress, by the way, is the speed at which you can cast the ability. So you can f cast Fireball faster than you can fire the bow, um, which is... I'm not really sure how much, because I know it's 2.27 attacks per second with Enchant, and I believe with a Sorceress, even if you were looking at... Uh, let's say 105 breakpoint, which is, I believe, 8 frames. Um, so you would take 25 frames and divide that by 8, which would give you a cast speed of about 3.125 per second. Um, so you would be able to cast a little bit faster than you would be able to fire the bow. 
Um, so your single target damage would be a little bit higher with Fireball than it would be with Enchant. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when I'm just talking about abilities like Enchant and Fireball. And uh, as always, keep watching.